Osio. Today we'll be doing an ice challenge. Now this isn't like most ice challenges that you see for ice chests though. Uh, both of these uh, ice chests can easily fit in my kayak. And instead of ice cubes, I use frozen water bottles to keep things cold. Which is a great idea if you're in a kayak. It just prevents any form of leakages happening. It also reduces the overall weight. In my experience, water bottles will also stay cold, I mean, will stay frozen a lot longer than ice cubes. So, we got the uh, Ozark Trail. Uh, this is their traditional soft pad case that I bought, like, probably about five or six years ago. Duh, it's probably 15 bucks. And then, well, this one is not branded as Ozark Trail, it's just called a high performance premium cooler. But I'm pretty sure this is also made by Walmart. And it too, I uh, got for only $15. But yeah, there's the, apparently it's like a live it brand. But yeah, I'm gonna zip these up. Uh, put in my kayak in the sunlight and uh, we'll see what happens in 24 hours. All right, so 24 hour ice challenge. One thing to note here is that the, uh, uh, well, the higher end looking one actually has considerable amount of condensation on it. I'm not sure if that's because it's loaded to the brink to the cap with six water bottles or what, but the other one's almost completely dry. Makes me think that the, uh, well, hopefully that means the, uh, cooler is going to be got a lot more ice in there. And oh shit. So only the top two really have any considerable melting, but yeah, this one in the middle is completely solid. The other one in the middle, almost completely solid. Yeah, almost completely solid. Completely solid. Hardly any melt at all. Uh, sorry about the angle there. And then the cheap Walmart one. After 24 hours, no ice in the top one. Slightly ice in one of the lower ones. Oh. Considerable freeze in that one still. Completely frozen on the bottom. Completely frozen still. So, for the uh, more premium design one, four of the bottles are pretty much completely frozen still. You can hardly bend these in at all. Uh, for the uh, cheaper one, this uh, I went and looked at the soda today, and this exact ice chest, well, I wouldn't say exact, but very similar ice chest, is $5 at Walmart right now. This little soft shell. That was our trail one. But we got one, two, three. So yeah, the there's slightly better performance than this other one. Uh, just be aware that there's gonna be if you do fill it all the way completely up, there will be condensation going on inside of it. An important conclusion you can make from this test though is if you pre-freeze your water bottles and keep them in a uh, cooler. Uh, they're going to stay cold for quite a while, for multiple days. Uh, usually, I'll put mine on my deck of my kayak, you know, an hour before I want to use it, and it'll be completely melted during the uh, summertime. Alright, well, thanks for watching.